A cylindrical tank with radius r and length l is laid on its side and filled with water to a depth or height of h. What is the volume of water in the tank in terms of r, l, and h? Now since the three-dimensional shape the water forms inside the cylinder is uniform throughout, we can calculate the volume of the water by taking the area of the base and multiplying by the length of the cylinder, which is l. In this case, the base is this surface on the side of the cylinder and so what this problem comes down to is finding the area of the irregular shape on the side of the cylinder. Okay, so I've drawn the cylinder from a side-on point of view, and now let's work on calculating the area of the base, which is this blue shaded region. Let's say the center of this circle is roughly here, and let's draw two of the circle's radii, this one and this one. Both of these lines are going to have a length of r, and notice that by drawing these two lines, we split up the shaded region into two different shapes, both of which we can calculate the area of. The first is this triangle, and the second is this sector. And so the area of the base, the area of the triangle, plus the area of the sector. So let's first work on computing the area of this triangle. To find the area of a triangle, we're going to need to know the length of its base and its height. Let's start by finding its height. We know that the height of the water in our cylinder is h. The problem tells us that. And we also know the length of this line segment is going to be r, since it's another one of the circle's radii. And so if the height of the water is h, and the length of this line is r, then the height of the triangle must be h minus r. Now imagine for a moment that we split up this larger triangle into two separate right triangles. We can now use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the length of this leg of the triangle, which we can call a. And if we know the length of this leg of the right triangle, then the length of the larger triangle will just be twice that, so 2a. So for the moment, let's just use the Pythagorean theorem on one of these right triangles. We get that a squared plus h minus r whole squared is equal to r squared. Let's expand the h minus r whole squared term out. We get a squared plus h squared plus r squared minus 2hr. So this is the h minus r whole squared term expanded out equals r squared. We can cancel out the r squared terms on both sides. And now if we move the h squared and negative 2hr terms to the right hand side, we get a squared is equal to 2hr minus h squared. Now let's take the square root of both sides. We get a on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have the square root of 2hr minus h squared. And if that's the length of a, which is the leg of one of these right triangles, then the length of the base of the larger triangle will be two times that. So two times the square root of 2hr minus h squared. Now that we know the lengths of the base and height of this larger triangle, we can find its area. So the area of the triangle is going to be equal to 1 half base times height. So 1 half times the base, which is 2 times the square root of 2hr minus h squared times the height which is h minus r. The 2 in the numerator and the 2 in the denominator will cancel, and so we get that the area of the triangle is equal to the square root of 2hr minus h squared times h minus r. Now let's work on finding the area of the sector. Now, the sector is just a portion of the circle, so to find its area, we're going to take the area of the circle, which is pi r squared, and multiply that by whatever fraction this angle is out of 2 pi radians. So if we call this angle alpha, then the area of the sector is going to be pi r squared times alpha over 2 pi, assuming that we're working in radians. Well, to find out what alpha is, we're going to need to know what this angle is. Let's call that theta. What do we know about theta? Well, we know that cosine theta is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, so h minus r over r, and so theta is going to be equal to the arc cosine of h minus r 
over r. If this angle is theta, then we know that this angle must be theta as well, since the two right triangles are identical. And so alpha, if we just bring this down here for the sake of space, alpha will be equal to the angle measure of the entire circle, which is 2 pi, if we're thinking in terms of radians, minus 2 times theta. So 2 times the arc cosine of h minus r over r. And so now, if we return to the formula for the area of a sector, let's do some simplification. We can cancel out the pi in the numerator with the pi in the denominator, and then we're going to have r squared times alpha over 2. Now, we can factor out a 2 in our formula for alpha, and we would get 2 times pi minus the arc cosine of h minus r over r. And so the area of the sector will be r squared times alpha, which is 2 times pi minus the arc cosine of h minus r over r all over 2. We can cancel out a 2 in the numerator with the 2 in the denominator, and we're left with the area of the sector as r squared times pi minus the arc cosine of h minus r over r. Now we know the area of the triangle and the area of the sector, so we know what the area of the base is. So now we just have to put everything together to get a formula for the volume of water in a horizontal cylindrical tank. So the volume of the water is going to be equal to the area of the base, which is the area of the triangle plus the area of the sector. The area of the triangle is the square root of 2hr minus h squared times h minus r plus the area of the sector, which is r squared times pi minus the arc cosine of h minus r over r. And if we close our parentheses, and so this is the area of the base. Then to get the volume of the water, we're going to need to multiply that quantity by the length of the cylinder, which is L. So here's the formula you can use to determine the volume of water in a horizontal cylindrical tank, where R is the radius of the tank, L is the length of the tank, and H is the depth to which water is filled. All right, that wraps it up for this video. If this video did help you out, please do consider leaving a like and subscribe if you want to be notified when I post more content like this. Thanks for watching.